when you watch steel go through our factory in a sheet, and it's just steel. And then it's blanked as the shape. It's just a shape. But as soon as it's stamped, K-Bar on one side, USMC on the other with the blood groove in it, it's not just steel anymore. At that point, there is a birthing that happens. And as it moves then along the rest of the processes, when you talk to the people that actually make this, they believe the exact same thing, that we have an obligation to have this object come to light, to come, come to serve. That every K-Bar, no matter what it does, it is born to serve. And that's its job. The K-Bar became the legacy that it is today in the hands of young soldiers, specifically Marines, but not exclusively Marines, in World War II. And these young men and women doing what they did at a time when they did not know that they were going to come home. That that legend was born by them. They did it. Now, the name K-Bar was trademarked in 1923. And as the story goes, K-Bar stood for kill a bear. Legend has it that a letter came in from a hunter who used his knife to kill a bear that had mauled him. From there, K-Bar was a trademark of the Union Cutlery Company. The Union Cutlery Company was producing knives for the war effort during World War II. They marked these knives with their trademark name, K-Bar. That was really where the tie to K-Bar and the United States Marine Corps and United States military has its roots. The K-Bar knife, basically born out of the necessity for a utility knife, um, the trench knives of World War I weren't really going to cut it for the battlefields of World War II any longer. Uh, those were ultimately just fighting knives. Um, there was a greater need for just an all-purpose knife in general. So the K-Bar knife was developed by the president of K-Bar knives at the time, as well as a uh, Marine Corps captain whose last name happened to be America. So Captain America helped developed this knife with uh, the United States. You look at all the other items and tools that soldiers carried, there's very few that hold an affinity or a relationship like the K-Bar and the Marine Corps. 